Over the past 15 seasons, the National League West division has largely been dominated by the Los Angeles Dodgers with them taking the NLS title in 11 out of the past 15 seasons and nine out of the last 10 seasons. Well, 2023 looks to be a different story. Seemingly coming out of nowhere are the Arizona Diamondbacks, currently with the second best record in all of the National League and two and a half games ahead of the Dodgers for first place in the NL West. Led by their new face of the franchise, elite power speed combo in outfielder Corbin Carroll. After signing a contract extension this offseason, in the first two and a half months of the season, he cemented himself as the front runner for the National League Rookie of the Year and has firmly placed himself in the MVP race after batting 311 with 14 home runs, 19 stolen bases, an OPS of 993, which is an OPS plus of 170. Meaning, essentially, with his bat, he's been 70% better than the average Major League hitter. And that OPS Plus is second in all of baseball, only behind Aaron Judge. And his Fangraphs wins above replacement of 3.4 is also second in baseball, behind only Ronald Acuna Jr. These stats are in 65 games played so far in 2023. As of right now, he's on pace for 33 home runs and 45 stolen bases. He has some sneaky pop as he's just 5'10", 165 pounds, and he's hitting home runs like the best of them. In the air to right field, Corbin Carroll, it's gone. And it hasn't just been with his bat in which he's produced for the Diamondbacks, as he's also shown some elite defensive ability. And oh, by the way, he's just 22 years old. So let's get into how Corbin got to this point. But before we do, make sure to like and subscribe if you like videos like this or are a fan of baseball. Corbin was born and raised in Seattle, Washington, where he attended Lakeside High School. He says that he was a multiple sport athlete until his sophomore year in which then he decided to go baseball full time. And as a senior in 2019, in high school, he hit 540 and had a ridiculous 1.859 OPS. He played on the USA 18U national team, as well as attending the Perfect Game showcases for a few years. And he was a very highly ranked prospect in high school, being ranked sixth overall nationally, the number two outfielder, and the best overall player in Washington State. And he would take home the MVP award from the Perfect Game Showcase game. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, just being at this game was a childhood dream, and um, to win it, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable. He would commit to playing college baseball at UCLA, but being drafted in the first round would change his mind. 16th selection of the 2019 MLB draft, the Arizona Diamondbacks select Corbin Carroll, an outfielder from Lakeside High School in Seattle, Washington. There are so many comps on this kid. A 5'11", 170 pounds, let the Brett Gardner comparison start. Corbin Carroll, a high school kid from the state of Washington, 5'11", 160 pounds. What great hit ability this kid has. As Billy Ripken says, he can really hit. Defensively, the scouts say this kid was one of the better defensive kids in the draft. He's a quick twitch athlete. Well above average runner, exceptional hit too. There's power in that body too. He's As you can hear, he was drawing comps to guys like Brett Gardner, Jacoby Ellsbury, Andrew Benintendi, and Tommy LaStella. Well, he's turned out to be a bit more than that. Do you hear a lot about the size, 5'11", 170? Do people make too much of that? Do you hear a lot about yeah. that a lot? Um, I mean, I kept hearing like 5'9", 165, 160, so I'll take that any day. <laughs> um, but no, that, that's more realistic of, of what I actually am. In 2019, he would split time between rookie ball and low A, batting 299 with two home runs, 20 RBIs, 18 stolen bases, and an OPS of 896 over 42 games. The minor league season was canceled in 2020, so he would spend all of that year at the alternate training site with the rest of the Diamondbacks' top prospects. For the 2021 season, he would start with the Hillsborough Hops in high A. That's got some carry, backing up on it, Hoover to the fence, see you on the other side, Herman Carroll, opposite field Homer, and we're tied at six. He would start 2021 batting 435 with two home runs, five RBIs, a 1.465 OPS through the first seven games of the season. Unfortunately, on that second home run he hit, he would end up blowing out his right shoulder on the follow-through. 
This is very similar to the injury that Fernando Tatis Jr. had suffered on his follow through, as both of them had a one handed follow through. For Carroll, this would end his 2021 season, as he would undergo surgery to repair tears in the labrum and posterior capsule of his right, non throwing shoulder. For a young prospect in the minor leagues that was tearing it up, this could be quite the blow mentally. However, he took full advantage of his recovery time. With him recovering down in Arizona, the Diamondbacks gave him the opportunity to attend the Diamondback games in 2021, sitting alongside their advanced scouting director. Corbin would go on to say that this exposure he had to watching big league games and realizing that big league players aren't perfect would play big dividends for when he got called to the show. And well, the Diamondbacks were far from perfect in 2021, as they would lose 110 games. Corbin would head into the 2022 season at full health, ready to build off of that momentum he had before his injury in 2021. Just viewing these, you know, weird years as, as, as challenges and as opportunities to grow. That lost season, per se, you know, I got some super valuable development at our, um, our alternate camp. This last year, you know, turned this, this shoulder injury into some, some pretty cool other experiences that I really think are going to benefit me down the line. Carroll would dominate in double A, batting 313 with a 1.073 OPS, 16 home runs, and 20 stolen bases over 58 games. And Carroll, swing and a drive. Forget about this one. It's a one run game. 481 feet, Corbin Carroll putting the team on his back to dead center field. He would get the call to AAA in June and stay hot. As in 33 games in AAA, he batted 287 with a 943 OPS, seven home runs and 11 stolen bases. He would go on to participate in the All-Star Futures game in July. A tough play and it gets past Gunnar Henderson and in the left. And Corbin Carroll showing off his speed with a leadoff double. He would take his helmet off. And then on August 28th, he would get the call. Hey, hey, hey. Surreal. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a cool feeling, you know. It's this is uh, this is what I wanted to do. And this is the stage I wanted to do it on. In the later innings of the game, he would record a two RBI double for his first major league hit in his first career game. I think I was more nervous for my Triple A debut than <laughs> you know this this game, and um, you know, that was something that was shared to me with. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> See how quick oh, he he's is? too quick. <laughs> he's too quick. You can't even get him with the ice bucket. Oh my God. Then in just his second career game, he recorded the fastest sprint speed of all of 2022, getting up to 30.7 feet per second on his way from first to home plate. On September 7th came his first career home run. Corbin Carroll gets one in the gear. This is hit well to center field. A Zokar at the wall, and it's gone. There's number one for Corbin Carroll. They go in his first exposure to the big leagues, he would play in 32 games, batting 260 with four home runs, 14 RBIs, two stolen bases, and an 830 OPS. After just 32 games played, the Diamondbacks had seen enough. During the 2023 spring training, the Diamondbacks would sign Corbin to an eight-year, $111 million contract extension with a club option for that ninth year, which could take it to $134 million. Just a day of a lot of gratitude for me. Um, gratitude to this front office, gra gratitude to this ownership group, gratitude to parents, friends, teammates, all of our staff here, you know, medical, going through that whole rehab process with them. Strength staff getting me, getting me right there. The cooks feeding me every day. Everyone to, to be in this position, I just I feel so much gratitude, and also the trust, the trust that's been given to me. I just I really appreciate it, and, and that's just something I want to live up to every single day. And I, I don't think that involves anything other than just just being myself. That now brings us into 2023, where he is tearing it up. He is playing every bit like an MVP. He's in elite percentile rankings in a majority of these categories. He's driving the ball to all parts of the field with power and authority. And with the All-Star game being in his hometown of Seattle this year, 
It'll be a perfect fit for him to make his first All-Star appearance in front of his friends and family. Our there it is. There's a, there's there it is. is. a victory vest. How does it feel, Corbin? Feels good. Uh, I think that's my first walk-off ever. This will be mobbed and carried off the field like that. Pretty good. Let's let's make it happen again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching, and make sure to look out for Corbin and the Diamondbacks the rest of this year. And let me know your thoughts on his play and who I should make a player profile on next. All right, guys, goodbye zone, and don't forget it. Stop it.